Hello, everybody. I'm sorry for the background noise, but that's the way it is when you live in a family, and we'll deal with it. This is Bonnie from Bonnie's Pretty Poppets with another haul. What else is new? I've gone shopping again. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Um, it is Saturday evening here. I hope the lighting's okay and that you can see good. I am joined today by my beautiful Chase Reborn Kit by Bonnie Brown. And he was painted by Chris Hyden from Tiny Hearts Reborn Nursery. Look at this. He has a little mole on his cheek. I don't know if you can see it properly. He's just a beautiful boy. And he, uh, I often twin him with my uh, Levi kit. This little guy's name is Cabot O'Malley, and I just love him. He is beyond precious. He, uh, he's so cuddly. He's weighted perfect, as Chris always does. And so I'm so thrilled to have him. If you like my videos, I wondered if you would push the like button, the subscribe button, and would you also push the notification button so you can know when I do other videos? Well, there's quite a bit here, so I want to get started. The first thing I want to show you is this was brand new. I took all the tags off of it. I haven't washed any of this stuff yet. This is brand new. It's a small diaper bag. It's a Disney product, but if you look very carefully, this is the old A.A. A. Milne pictures of uh, Winnie and Little Piglet. There's a little story that has all kinds of different um, places to put things. This has something in the front. Now, here's the thing. I bought a little backpack for when I went on vacation um, to carry my things in on the plane. And I spent over $25 for it. This, brand new, I took the tags off. It says Once Upon a Time on it. And there's some storybooks. And then, like I said, the beautiful A.A. A. Mill character. I paid $7 for this at a thrift store. So I got that. Um, I'm probably not going to use it as a diaper bag. I probably am really going to use it as a purse to carry my stuff around in. Well, oftentimes after a holiday is a good time to get stuff for next year. I got this for either my Suzanne kit, Burke Caspian, or it could even be for Libby Elizabeth Grace, who is my uh, Ariana kit, my two toddlers. But there is some candy corn, like this vertebrae from a skeleton. Vertebrae. I can speak honest. There's a little sucker that looks like a... um. Jack-o'-lantern, really cute. And the same things that are here are also on the nice pants. So I'll wash these up and put them away with my other Halloween things, and they'll be ready for next year. I've said it before, the great thing about our babies is they don't grow up. Uh, let me see what this is from. I don't know if it has a tag or not. Sometimes they do. It just says celebrate Halloween. So it's uh, that product. Again, thrift store. I got these still on the Gerber's zero to three months, so it's for all of my babies. We have a striped pier. We have like what looks like denim, and then this one has little uh, raccoons on it. And that's, as you can see, it's still in the package, never been used. Of course, I'll still wash them, but that's that. Same thing here. These are from called Moon and Stars. Some cute little girl socks. There's uh, just print on this one with teal and light pink and a rose color. And this one, I believe they're mermaids. I can't, yes, they're mermaids. Little mermaids. They have a gray toe and a gray uh, border and a gray heel. But then they're pink with little green uh, mermaids on the front. Another beautiful Homemade, still in its package, hand crocheted hat and diaper cover set. Here's the little hat. Again, brand new. Got them for like 75 cents. It's got a beautiful rose crochet on it. And on the back, this is the diaper cover. And on their little bottom, you put the other rose. Um, this is great for the babies with um, that are full vinyl or the babies that have... Um, 
a, a tummy plate. And I have a few of those. I found some toys. I thought this would be cute for Libby as a prop or a role playing. It's a little stethoscope uh, to put on her. Some of her pictures. Also, I got her a baby ball dot, a baby bottle for her dolls. I'm telling you, I don't know. Here's a cute little rattle with a wooden. Uh, it has a chevron print. He's tan with orange polka dotted ears. I think it's either a bear or maybe a monkey. I don't know. But then there's this wooden ring here for them to teeth on. These toys I got at a thrift shop that weighs things. So I think I paid a dollar twenty-five for the, all of these. Here is an Infantino toy rattle. It has it's an elephant, very colorful. Again, a teething ring. A little bit of uh, activity here. I don't think it rattles. Oh, yeah, he does rattle a little bit. And then he has the little uh, things that move. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you on here. The zipper is actually a pot of honey. Isn't that cute? On that zipper. Here's another. I remember when my kids were letter, litter, little. Okay, I got to calm down here. When my kids were little, my doctor said they really liked the black and white colors. It's a teething ring. It has beads that go around. It has rings to teeth on and to move around. Very colorful and pretty. And then the last toy is a form of keys. Very colorful. There's a cow. Oh, they're all cows. Just different colored cows. Those were the toys I found. All right, this is adorable. This will probably fit my beautiful Cabot and his brother Levi. Um, but look at this beautiful, it's a very light gray and it has the cutest little bear face and it has three dimensional eyes. It's a Carter's, it's a three month. So it, yeah, it'll probably fit them. I've noticed with their legs, the way they curl up, it's best to either a very large newborn or zero to three months. This is for my Ariana kit, my beautiful Libby. It has all different kinds of apples, green and red, and some of them have stripes, and some of them, if you look really close, have polka dots. And then it has an adorable little top. It says, picture apple of my eye, and there's a little heart in the center. This is just one U, Carter's. So that'll be really nice for, they're nice and warm and very soft too, like a terry cloth. Okay, okay, that's, I found, and these are hard to find, I found two little preemies, I have a silicone baby, this is gray with green trim, like a lime green trim, and it has all kinds of dinosaurs on it, and alligators, oh, sorry, alligators, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, it's footless, so I could put little booties on with it. There's another one here somewhere, but I'm always losing my stuff, aren't I? All right. Well, here it is. So that's for my little silicone guy. And I also think could wear this one as well, and the dinosaurs with a bow. This one is um, Simple Joys Preemie. It's uh, teal with uh, cream-colored stripes and a beautiful little light green frog. You know, I take that back, not just for him. My little, this is also a simple Joyce preemie. Um, Tink could wear those too. Put a little bow in her hair. She's ready to go. This is for Libby. It's so cute. It has a pug dog on it who has a collar with a heart. And he has his little bling crown on. Stars, some of them are sparkling. And over here it says, anything is possible. So cute. This is a granimal. Um, this is a three toddler, but I'm not worried because I've noticed granimals run small. And she has those great big arms, too. This is for Burke, the Suzon kit. He's my little dinosaur boy. It's really cute. It also would be cute for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, but there's a great big orange dinosaur head. And we've got some th three-leaf clovers. And a beautiful hat. 
this, I think the tag might be rabbit skins. Yeah, and there's a little rabbit on it. Rabbit skins. I don't know how much it is, what size it is, but I'm sure it'll fit him. All these do need to be washed. This is for either Libby or or um Burke, although I had Burke in mind when I got it. It's a little lightweight sweatshirt. It's got a cute bear, adorable bear on it. Carter's size 2 toddler. Again, Libby probably could wear it with some stretchy pants or some leggings. And uh, he could wear it with his jeans or his uh, cargo pants or whatever. Really, really cute. He also has sweatpants, too. I know our babies don't drool, but these are cute for props and pictures. I got them gray with what almost looks like um, candy canes, but it's not. It's a chevron pattern of green and, I'm sorry, gray and pink burp, burp cloths. Okay, most of the rest of this is Christmas or Christmassy. These I got, um, believe it or not, at a thrift store all wrapped up. They are actually Minnie Mouse, but one is a package, so I think we could use them. Look who joined us, BB. <laughs> you see, you see Cabot? Be nice. Be nice. No, we don't eat his hair. We don't eat his hair, BB. So we got, um, we got uh, these. They could be used for Valentine's Day, Christmas, or just with a little red outfit. So that's for the girls. They're barrettes. They, especially Libby and some of my some of my dolls have very wispy hair. So these are really cute. Probably Burke, maybe Libby. I don't know if they're big enough, but they're Santa Claus boots. It's so cute. I don't. And on the bottom it has snowflakes. Yeah, I don't see who they're by, but those are adorable too. These I bought from Amazon. I opened them because I wanted to see, but there's three different ribbons. One is white with green with a red bow, and then you have white, green, and point setter flowers, and then just a big green bow. All of them have that nice nylon on it that doesn't pull their hair, and then this one has a white point setter on it. I bought those from Amazon. Cute little still, still in their package. Little snuggle do too socks. And uh, these would be for any of the toddlers or bigger babies. Saskia's. All right. This adorable bib is, whoops, backwards. <laughs> it's Santa Claus. His face, and this is supposed to be like his hat. How cute is that? This is from Tender Kisses. Oh, baby, don't eat my bows, please. This is an adorable little, just red striped with the red booties. It says, my first Christmas, but when you turn it over on their little bum bum is Santa's head. And it looks like what would be his pants. Baby, you really can't have those, sweetheart. I'm sorry. That's a no. So that was really cute. This is Koala Kids, three months. Looks like it would fit Cabot. Or his brother, uh, the Levi kid. This is big, but I have some red and white striped leggings that I thought would be adorable with it. So this would go for Libby, uh, Ariana kit. But it's Santa and his, he's baking cookies here. He's wrapping the reindeer here. And he's trying to put the lights on the Christmas tree. We all know how much fun that is. <laughs> This is um, Carter's. This one's really cute, too. Um, this is just like a light gray or a light charcoal, maybe. It's first impressions. It's zero to six months, and it's elf-sized. It's elf-sized, and this is fuzzy, and the little ball on the hat is fuzzy, too. Do you approve, or are you trying to eat it? Bebe. Bebe. Nope, not going to talk to me, huh? Okay, we're almost done. Um, you know, when you buy these clothes at the store, they're so expensive. Look at these adorable green pants with white snowflakes all over them. Libby, again. 
Tiny Tilly by Avon. Uh, these are two toddlers as well. Those are for Libby. This is really cute. I like these gray ones. Oftentimes you get a bunch of BB. That's not very that's not a very flattering position to have your backside towards us. We have okay, excuse you. We have a gray Santa. He really wants those bows, and I really don't want him to have them. We have a gray shirt. That's a good boy. We'll play with something. With a Santa. I love the beard. He has like little circles. And he has a plaid hat on. This is... I have no idea, but it's zero to three months. I think it looks more newborn. And may even fit my little Fox Benedict, who is twin A. And then this is my last Christmas. And then I have one other thing. This is my first Christmas. Carter's 12 months. I'm thinking it would be for Zoe, who is my Damie kit. I mean, it may fit after I wash it. It may fit the Saskia's. I don't know. And then, again, when you have reborns that don't grow, these are for Valentine's Day. They've got little arrows and hearts. And the front onesie says, my first Valentine's Day. It's Sam Gami Baby. Don't know who that is, but. And that is the last of my haul for today. I mean, look at that. It's ridiculous. We don't need all these clothes, but I keep buying them because they're just so adorable. Look at this boy. He looks so peaceful, doesn't he? He's just the best baby to cuddle. I wrap him in a fuzzy blanket, and I just love to hold him, especially when it's dark and it's late at night and got worries or stress. Not that I do have a lot of that, but you know how everybody does. It's so wonderful just to hold him and cuddle him. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, I hope you had a wonderful Saturday. I've been, as you can see, thrifting and going to some stores for different things and been ordering a lot of Christmas presents online. I'm doing really well. I'm almost done, not quite, but almost done for Christmas. I usually try to get my Christmas shopping done before Thanksgiving, so I have the whole month of December just to spend with the family and to enjoy everybody. Uh, I got my turkeys. I'm going to make some Christmas cookies here pretty soon and freeze them and pass them out to our friends and families and loved ones. I hope you're having a wonderful day, too. If you're at work, please come home safe to those who love you. If you're at home, I know you're really busy at home doing a lot of things, too. But please take some time to put your feet up, pamper yourself, and eat chocolate. To all our aunties, uncles, cousins, friends, and loved ones, we say good night and sweet dreams. We love you very much. God bless.